Hello guys, it's Adam and in this episode of Azure Fundamentals, we will learn about the tools that help us with management of our Azure environments and resources. Stay tuned. And the tools that we'll learn about today are Azure Portal, PowerShell, CLI and the Cloud Shell. And the first one is Azure Portal. We've used Azure Portal across all of our demos up until this point. In this case, as a users, we simply open a browser, type in portalazure.com to connect to Azure and manage our Azure resources. And we've all seen what Azure Portal can do for us because this is our web interface, a publicly accessible web interface for management of everything related to Azure platform. It is really designed for self-service so all of the tasks are pretty easy to do. Most of like 99% of the things with Azure can be done in Azure portal. Portal is also quite customizable because you can create your own dashboards to get a quick glance at your Azure resources and their statuses. But what is important is that Azure portal is designed to help customers with fairly simple tasks. It is not a tool that you will use if you want to do very big deployments or automation tasks. Which brings me to Azure PowerShell, which is our first tool that allows us to automate stuff in Azure. Besides the classic approach of using browser and accessing Azure through Azure portal, you can also access Azure through a terminal. So this works for both Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. You just need to install PowerShell modules and you will be able to connect to Azure to work with Azure resources through a command terminal. This is one of the ways of managing Azure resources in an imperative way. So Azure PowerShell is simply a module that Microsoft created for a popular PowerShell scripting language. It was designed to help with automation tasks when it comes to Azure. With this module and PowerShell language, you can create very complex logic using scripts. And with the release of PowerShell Core in 2016, you can now use PowerShell in any operating system, Windows, Linux, or Mac OS. And the module is quite simple to use. For example, you can type connect AZ account to log in to Azure. You can also type get az resource group to list all the available resource groups in your Azure subscription. You can type new az resource group if you want to create new resource groups. You can also type new az VM to create new virtual machine. So using those commands and very powerful scripting language, which is PowerShell, you can create almost any automation tasks in no time. You can then grab those scripts and either automate them in Azure or in a tool like Azure DevOps. PowerShell in general is a very native approach for IT professionals who are working with Windows servers in the past. But if your background is more on the Linux side, you might prefer to use Azure CLI instead. CLI stands for Command Line Interface. Just like with PowerShell, you will use Terminal to log into Azure and manage Azure resources. But instead of installing modules for PowerShell, you will install CLI. So it's just another way of managing Azure resources through Terminal. So in short, Azure CLI is our command line interface for Azure. It is also designed for automation, just like PowerShell. And it is also multi-platform. It's based on Python, so you can use it on any operating system. And similarly to PowerShell as well, it is fairly simple to use because you just type AZ login to log into Azure, AZ group list to list resource groups, AZ group create to create a new ones, or AZ VM create to create virtual machine. But one important thing to note is that CLI is just a tool for the native terminal. So depending on which operating system terminal you are using, you will have different scripting capabilities. So it's quite important decision to make here. But in general, you can use either PowerShell or CLI to perform most of the task when it comes to Azure. But really, it's just a matter of preference. Microsoft wanted to provide you with toolkit so that you can use your existing skills, whether you're coming from Windows or more Unix based environments and integrate with Azure in no time. Which brings us to our last tool, Azure Cloud Shell. Everything that we talked about today is happening on user machine. So users need to either use their own browsers or they need to install tools like PowerShell or CLI to perform automations with Azure. But there are many scenarios where you simply won't be able to install those tools locally or you don't have access to user machine at a specific time. Microsoft wanted to solve those challenges by providing you with another environment where all the tools will be pre-installed for you and will always be up to date. This extra environment is called Cloud Shell. 
And you can access this through many interfaces, for example, through a web browser by navigating to shellazure.com. There are a lot of cool things about Cloud Shell environment. For example, it's based on Ubuntu container. So you get a lot of additional tools that come with Linux natively. You can, of course, use both PowerShell and CLI, depending on which do you prefer. And what's better, this environment is completely free. So you can perform your day-to-day -day operations directly from the browser without the need to install a single tool on your local machine. Azure Cloud Shell also comes with a lot of interfaces to use it. You can use it from dedicated Shell Azure Com portal. You can also use portalazure.com with a small integration directly in Azure portal. Or if you are on the go and you don't have access to your machine or you don't want to open this, you can use mobile application which has a native integration with Cloud Shell. Let me show you how easy it is to use Cloud Shell to automate stuff in Azure. I can go directly to Azure Portal. As I said, it's one of the interfaces to use Azure Cloud Shell. At the top of Azure Portal, you will find a button which will open a new Cloud Shell session. And after just a couple of seconds, Microsoft will be able to provision this new environment and we will be ready to perform our tasks. Notice that currently we are using Bash with CLI. But if we want to, we can switch to PowerShell as quickly using this dropdown here. Once the session is established, I'm already logged into my Azure environment. So I can type commands like az group list dash o table to list all the resource groups available in my Azure subscription. I can also type az group create to create new Azure resource group by adding parameters like name to provide resource group name, let's say az900 CLI dash dash location to provide the Azure region where the resource group will be located. In just under a second, our resource group was created. So how about we do something more complex using CLI? I will now create new virtual machine by typing azvm create, provide a parameter name for the name of virtual machine, in this case, am demo dash dash resource group to provide the name of the resource group where this machine will be located. We also need to specify the base image for our virtual machine using dash dash image. In this case, I will choose Ubuntu LTS as my base image. So this will be a Linux based virtual machine. And with generate SSH keys parameter, I will be able to connect to this virtual machine using SSH keys in no time. And lastly, as always, we need to provide dash dash location to provide the region where this virtual machine will be created. Now just hit enter and wait for provisioning to finish. This should take about one or two minutes. And after about one minute, my virtual machine has been provisioned. And it's really that easy using CLI to create new virtual machines. You can confirm this virtual machine works by using built-in SSH functionality of Azure Cloud Shell. To do that, we just type SSH, providing the username, which is Adam, at, and then public IP of our virtual machine which is visible right above this command. Just paste it in, press enter to connect to the virtual machine. And that's it. We are now connected to this virtual machine using SSH directly from our cloud shell. So let's close this session and go back to Azure portal. You can minimize and open cloud shell at any time during your session. But for now, let's close the cloud shell. Let's go back to the resource group to the one that I just created called AZ900 CLI, which should be at the bottom. Here, there's AZ900 CLI, and you can see all the resources that we created with a simple command line. So Azure Cloud Shell is our cloud-based scripting environment, which is completely free to use and allows us to use both PowerShell and CLI directly in our browsers to connect to Azure and manage Azure resources. It has a lot of additional tools installed because it's based on Ubuntu machine and a lot of client interfaces. So you can use things like Azure Portal, you can use dedicated portal like Shell Portal. You can also use Visual Studio Code extension to connect to Cloud Shell directly from Visual Studio Code. You can use Windows Terminal, Azure Mobile Application, or use Cloud Shell directly in Microsoft documentation when you are learning, which is also one of the amazing features of Cloud Shell. To summarize the tools that we learned today, we have Azure Portal, which is our web-based interface for managing Azure platform. We also have Azure CLI, which is one of the automation tools for managing Azure resources through a terminal. And if we want to create scripting using PowerShell, we can simply install Azure module and use PowerShell instead. This is just one of the multiple options available to us. 
And lastly, we've learned about the cloud environment for scripting, which is Clausial, to perform our day-to-day -day operations without a need to install anything on our local machines. All the materials for this episode can be found under episode 19 on my website. For this episode, we're done, but make sure to watch the next one because it's all about Azure Advisor. If you like my work, support the channel by subscribing, liking, and commenting. If you want to go to the next episode, simply hit icon on the side or follow the playlist. And see you in the next one.